Hey guys, today we're doing a quick product review of something called the Ball Pod. As you might have surmised from the name, it is a ball made of silicone and it's filled with some sort of beans. You can mold it in your hands and atop the Ball Pod is a quarter inch tripod screw, pretty standard. And the beauty of the ball pod is that it will work as a tripod in many different situations. And I'm talking about not just tabletops, but rocks, tree stumps, fence posts, mailboxes. Over the years, I've found little devices like this incredibly useful. They're especially handy for video, but they're also useful for any kind of time-lapse photography that you might want to do. I'm not a big fan of selfies personally, but I do like self-portraits. And if you have, for example, a Sony RX100, you can attach a smaller camera like an RX100 to this ball pod, and it makes for an incredibly powerful and portable package. And you see, you can just flatten the ball pod however you like, and you can adjust the camera however you like, adjust the camera angle. Examining the build quality of the ball pod, it claims to have been designed in Germany, which typically is a good sign from an engineering standpoint and a quality standpoint. The ball itself is made of kind of a thin, grippy silicone, and I'm not sure what the little pellets inside are made of. I'm assuming some sort of plastic. I will say that they are apparently non-removable, so you can't remove the pellets for transport. They're always in there. And the total package weighs just over 10 ounces. So there's a little bit of weight to it. I mean, if you're in a travel scenario where you're going overseas, then you might be debating whether or not this is something you want to toss into your backpack. In my opinion, it is. I think for certain types of photography, certainly long exposure photography, time lapse, self portraits, you're going to want some sort of camera support device and a small device like a ball pod just makes a lot of sense. If I had any criticisms, I would say the, the silicone, because it is grippy, is going to pick up a little bit of grit and dust and debris from time to time, but it's certainly not a big deal. It's easily cleaned off. And the other criticism might be the price. Uh, I've seen different prices for these ball pods, but expect to pay between 30 and 40 bucks. On the other hand, it appears to be a well-designed, well-constructed piece of equipment, and it will function basically as a tripod. And the key to using these things successfully is to think on your feet and be creative because you will find in the course of your travels that there are all sorts of places that will serve as a tripod. Again, fence posts, mailboxes, little short walls, uh, tree stumps, sometimes tree branches, and you actually end up sometimes getting even more interesting shots because you're forced to be creative right off the bat. Now this little ball pod is really an ideal support mechanism for a smaller camera like this Sony RX100. It will also work for mirrorless cameras, especially something like a Sony Alpha 6000 or even an Alpha 7, especially if the lens you have attached isn't too front heavy. I think at a certain point, if you're putting a larger DSLR on the ball pod, you're gonna kind of reach the limits of the support that it can deliver. You can get these ball pods in different colors. Here I have the white, but of course they're available in the traditional camera world, black and blue and green and a lot of other colors. The ball pod does include a little case uh, or sock of sorts, uh, which is kind of nice. And so it just fits right into the case and makes for a pretty good little travel package. So if you're interested in picking up your own ball pod, I'll put a couple of links in the YouTube description for this video. If you're new here, please subscribe to our channel here on YouTube. As always, thanks for tuning in guys. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you disliked it, 
give it a thumbs down. Feel free to leave a comment. And of course, don't forget to subscribe.